Hello everyone, my name is Michael Bush. I am one of the research scientists at the SETI Institute. I study mostly near-Earth asteroids, which are objects on their own orbits around the Sun that cross or come near the orbit of the Earth. We'll be talking today about one particular aspect of near-Earth asteroids, their structures. They are like mechanically. When we talk about an asteroids made up chemically, we talk about metal, nickel and iron, rock, silicate material, water, carbon compounds. This is the same mixture of material that you make planets out of because the asteroids and planets came from the same reservoirs of material. The asteroids are never built up to a single large object. But it's important to understand what we're talking about when we say rock and metal, which is most of the mass of the near-Earth asteroids. Some are up to 10% water and carbon compounds, but most of it is rock, and then metal is a bit of the rest. This is a nickel-iron meteorite from Campo de Celio in Argentina. It's been on the ground for the last few thousand years. It is a very solid piece of effectively steel, nickel and iron, as are almost all of the meteorites that we find, bits of asteroid that hit the Earth's atmosphere, they break apart, they come up to the ground. There's a selection bias here. We're seeing the really strong, solid pieces. An asteroid up in space is not a single solid block. If we look at asteroids visited by spacecraft, we see they are, to all appearances, for the near-Earth asteroids, piles of rubble. When we say rubble pile, it has a very particular definition. If you look at something like the asteroid Bennu, which we have a picture of here from the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft, you see overall it has this shape of the oblate spheroid with a ridge around the equator. But other than that, it's a pile of rocks. And you've got material from tens of meters across all the way down to dust, a millimeter or less. And all that is mixed together in some complicated way. You have this structure because the near-Earth asteroids are all remnants of previous asteroid-asteroid collisions, mostly in the main asteroid belt, and then pieces reaccumulate, their orbits move around a bit, they come into the inner solar system. But this matters in terms of studies of asteroids' histories because how they react to impacts, how they react to radiation pressure spinning things up and bulging them out around the equator, is really determined by that rubble pile structure. The detailed shape of Bennu is determined by the locations of all the different blocks and how solidly they're stuck to each other. Rubble pile doesn't mean that it's entirely non-cohesive. You get a little bit of surface force between the grains, static charge, Van der Waals bonding, that holds it together. So you can actually get a rubble pile object that's unconsolidated material that's spinning around every few minutes. Bennu does not do this. It spins every four hours, roughly. But other smaller asteroids do, and they are spinning round and round in the sky, held together about as tightly as a clump of flowers on the Earth. It's a really strange physical environment, and all our normal intuitions of geology sort of don't really work. If you hear people talk about rubble pile asteroids, what you're hearing about is this very peculiar structure of reaccumulated collisional debris that only acts the way it does because the asteroids are so small, the gravity is so low, that they have a very little bit of strength, and that really matters in terms of how they behave out in space.